If you have ever wanted to know when is the best time to pay your credit card bill to actually increase your credit score like I was able to do, then guess what? I have the answer that you need. I'm about to tell you everything that you need to know about paying your credit card, when that special date is that you need to focus on. Also, how much you should be targeting to get the fastest increase. And as a gift, because I care so much, I'm going to actually be paying $500 on someone's credit card bill right after this. What's up guys, this is Monique and welcome back to the channel. I am back with the news that you can use, but first, if you are new here, hello, bonjour, hola, konnichiwa, shalom. Thanks so much for stopping by, but don't just be a stranger, hit that subscribe button and join the family. Also, as a huge favor to me, go ahead on and like this video so that we can get this good info out to more people. So, let's get to the reason you are here. You want to know when exactly is the best time to pay your credit card bill so that you can raise your credit score, and I'm talking fast. And what I'm going to share are the things that I've actually done so I know that it works to get my score to an 800 and just to let you know I am no credit repair specialist I am just a person that learned by trial and error and I want you to not commit my errors so that you can get your scores up so I'm sharing these things with you for absolutely free 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 but when and how you pay your credit card bill is the most overlooked but impactful way to raise your score quickly and also because we care so much my husband and I have gotten together and decided we want to pay $500 of someone's credit card bill and all you need to do is make sure you like this video and watch the video till the end I can check to see if a lot of people are watching or not but the most important thing I need you to do is make sure you're leaving lots of comments down below and in those comments include your cash app tag or your PayPal account so that we can pay that $500 bill and just remember the more you comment the more visible you become to us so that we can actually see you and you could be the lucky winner in two weeks so let's get down to the nitty-gritty when it comes to paying your credit card bill first it's very important for you to know what is actually being reported to the credit bureaus and know these credit card companies are not whispering in the credit card bureaus ears and letting them know your everyday sweet purchases so if you bought some McDonald's yesterday and then today you went and bought some shoes that you hear from your spouse in the back of the closet no they will not be reporting all of those little charges but let me actually show you my credit card statement so that you can see what they report right here you can see new balance that is the sum total of all your purchases and they report this total on what they call the statement date or the closing date as you can see here and let's pause for a minute and let those words just marinate for a second because these are the most important dates that you need to remember. And your statement date is typically the same date every month. You can find this on your statement itself or if you're anything like me, you use the app, you can go to the app and they'll break it down for you very nice and easy. And another thing just to know FYI, some people don't know, your statement balance is not your current live balance that you'll see if you log into your account. It's just what is owed by that statement date. Now please don't get this mixed up with your due date. Your due date is when they expect their money and your statement date is when they report to the credit bureaus how much you owe them and I'm taking my time right here because I've seen a lot of videos that explain this but people still scroll away very much confused so let me know down in the comments if you understand what I'm saying if I'm making it clear enough for you because this right here is going to be very critical if you want to make this work and raise your credit score and speaking of raising your credit score quickly a big thank you to our sponsor Credit Sesame who not only helps you to monitor your credit but they also help you to build your credit and you can do this through Sesame Cash, which is a free all-in-one debit account that has a credit builder feature, which once you enable, it will help you to automatically grow your credit score. So now the millions of Americans that don't actually have a credit score or those that are just looking to build their credit can do so because there is absolutely no credit check required for you to open your account. And there are no hidden fees, plus you do not have to pay any interest payments, which means that you get to keep more money in your pocket. So how this works is you would just buy the things you normally do with your debit card. And I'm talking about those everyday purchases that you make. And then Credit Sesame will take those purchases and report it to the credit bureaus, which will in turn help you to build credit history. Sesame Cash debit account gives you all the credit building features of a credit card without the traditional or physical card involved. But but what is involved is some reward. Not only can you get cash back from your favorite brands, but every time your score goes up by 10 points, Credit Sesame will pay you $10 
up to $100 in the first 30 days. And I don't know about you, but I like to get paid early. And with your Sesame Cash account, you can receive direct deposits up to two days early. So make sure you sign up for a free Credit Sesame account and start growing your score with Sesame Cash today. The link to sign up will be down in the description below. Now, there's something that we need to talk about with these credit card payments. Earlier, I mentioned there's a specific date, which we figured out is the statement date but there's also a specific way that you need to pay your credit cards and we need to look at how much you should be paying now i always suggest paying your credit card balance down to one to two percent that is literally where i saw the maximum group in my score and trust me i know that is hard to do for many so that's why i always suggest if you cannot get it down to one to two percent of course the credit bureaus always suggest under 30 percent some that may still be too much if you can start at least trying to make double payments once a month don't just do the minimum because that will take you years to reach your goal this is honestly the fastest most overlooked way like i said to fixing your credit to getting those high scores asap a lot of people focus on all the other stuff like trying to remove collections or working on the hard inquiries but i'm telling you the fastest way for you to see that increase that you are looking for is to pay those balances down and that's why today like i said i want to help i don't want to just be the person that keeps telling you what to do but if i can when i can my husband and i want to get together and start giving back and helping as many people as we can so that's why we'll be paying someone's credit card bill down by 500 dollars. but again getting your balance down to the one to two percent range or at least under 10 percent is where you'll see the maximum growth and that's why you see my balance here is five dollars and 84 cents now this is definitely not what i spent for the month because i use my credit card to get those good rewards i get cash back every month and though to some that may not be a lot of money because you have your one percent to five percent categories for cash back but guess what monique says every dollar count whether i'm getting a hundred dollars back in that month or one thousand it is free money so that's why i do it this way but you gotta play the game smart but like i said even though i spent a lot of money on my credit card i still paid it down to five dollars by the closing date and by spending this much and paying it off this way you are making it seem like you barely use your credit card you didn't get any debt this month and you are managing your funds great which makes the credit bureaus go crazy they love it so let's say you have a ten thousand dollar credit card limit you use four thousand dollars of it but by the closing date you pay three thousand the credit bureaus don't know that you used all that money what your balance ends up being is one thousand dollars so to them it looks like you're only utilizing ten percent which they like because once again the lower your utilization the higher your score will be so again that key date that you want to always focus on is your closing date and you know if you actually make double payments but not at the same time let's say you decide to pay a little earlier in the middle of the month sometime that will cost you less money because every day you are charged a certain interest fee so if you start to pay down that amount quicker then that'll be less interest that you are being charged and again more money in your pocket which who we like and of course doubling up on payments tripling up if you can even if you can only pay 20 30 dollars more every time you do that it really does help you and you're putting a dent in that balance so that you could get that utilization down let me tell you something no matter what date you pay if you are not getting your utilization down you're not going to see the increase that you are looking for so again to help someone get that utilization down to help you guys get in the best position that you can make sure you are commenting consistently over and over because we're really going to do this at random we're just going to go through some comments and whatever pops up to us first we are going to go ahead and pay your bill for you but more importantly than that i really want you to get this information because i don't want to just help someone pay their bill but then you put yourself back in the same situation because it defeats the purpose so you really want to understand this information and start applying it so that you can always win this is the year for us to be great so if you have not subscribed make sure you have done so other than that i thank you so much for watching and until next time we are out. Peace. <laughs>